we're here on Boblo Island, which was once, about 25 years ago, 1993, they closed for reasons I'm not even exactly sure. But this is what's left of it. It's sort of like walking to like an abandoned ghost town type thing because there's some buildings still left standing and some not. For example, at one time, I would believe this used to be like a roller rink or a bumper cars type place. Not much. Oh, there looks like an old arcade or something there. Crazy to think that 25 years ago, this was like flooded with people to play games, take their families, go on trips. And now it's just like an abandoned area. But I think it has to be a bumper cars with the ceiling the way it looks. Pretty crazy. Like So we just left what looks like it was at one time a bumper cars area, as you could tell by the ceiling of the building. And now we're coming across this old building, which if you go to the back and front, you can tell it was a washroom. Well, this one you can't really tell, but on the other side it said men's room this way. It's funny to think how the trees just grew up all right around it. It's like it's nature's taking over its land again. When this park closed back in 1993, the way you would come to Boblo Island at the time from over there is Amherstburg, Ontario. You would take a ferry, I don't know if you can see it, uh, I tried hard to find on the camera, but there's a little dock out there you can see. And you load on a boat, load it, and unload over here. And that's where the Canadians go. When the Americans would come from the States, they would unload here. And you would walk them through the gates to Boblo Island. You would unload the boat. You would come through the canopy here, and it would be welcome to Boblo Island. As you can see now, vandalism has taken over the park instead. I guess this would be the area maybe where the guy would control the marina boats or flag them in maybe. I'm not exactly sure. You come through this canopy, as you can see, it's deteriorating pretty good. And this is where the Canadians boat would unload. Could walk a little further, but I don't really want to take that chance. It's been rusting here for over 25 years, so the ground isn't the best of shape.
has the Aventura. Bobble Island continues. We left over there, which was the boat unloading. We've already stayed in this building here, which is next door to the bumper cars. Let's do the trees there. There's the tower. And we came across another old abandoned building. All boarded up this time. Old canopy. And another old building right there. Double decker, so there's multiple floors, and looks like you could at one time walk on the balconies there while people were just going in through the door right there. At one time, it could have been a roller rink, probably maybe a dance hall. They did have one dance hall in there, which is back at the entrance of the island at the beginning where we started the video. So, we're not sure exactly what this could have been. There's no real artifacts or anything that place to say this is what it used to be, so it's all really guesstimates. As I was too young to know what this was, because I would have been too young to take notes of what this was back in the day. Still pretty cool to see how nature has taken over, because if you see, the plants just keep continuously growing. It's like, what would life be like after humans leave? And if you look underneath, you can see there's like even branches growing underneath the wood. Pretty incredible, you gotta say. Looks like a door that would open like a garage door type thing. Next to a normal door with a lock. All surrounded by all this tall grass. At one time was flooded with people like I've been saying. Crazy to think. We found this old building, which looks like it could have been at one time a bathroom, maybe. A woman's bathroom, since right across it from was the men's washroom. So there's a possibility. We walked on a little bit further. Came and found this trailer. That's Veronica. You can follow her on the Instagram. We found this bridge. And if you notice in the ground, every so often you see that. It looks like it might be like a train, because I heard back in the day they used to have a train for the tourists to get around. And that makes sense to have a train go underneath the bridge and you could walk above the bridge. At one time. Still pretty cool. As we were continuing our walk around the island here, I just came across what looks like a train track in the cement there. At one time there was, I remember my mom saying something about a train that you could take on the island. So it looks like it is. The little train track. We will continue on our journey now.